Yo, yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, TTJ. I'm back once again. I got another video for you guys. It's, um, excuse me. It's an on foot. So we're about to get into it right now. Um, yeah, let's do it. Got these uh, blazers on deck. We're gonna uh, get these boys a, a, a go. You can you can take this pin off. I'm gonna leave it on, but you could easily take that pin off right there. Those it. Show you how easy it is to take it off. Real easy. Just a pin right there. Normal pin. They got one for the women, which is this one, and they got one for the men, which is on this one. Just want to show y'all, just in case somebody wondering, like, how easy is it to pop that pin off? Real easy. Shout out to those that, you know what I'm saying, that be rocking the blazer, blazer shoes. Shout out to you guys. Oh, be easier if I took this out. Like, oh. I used to play ball in these shoes back in the day, y'all. Man. No kind of ankle support. Shoot. I guess it depends on how tight you, you lace it up the shoes all the way up to here. You know what I'm saying? And then I guess it was to provide you some support. But um, yeah. Do this real job. This is probably what you guys are gonna have to do. Do this real quick. This is why I want the on foot video separate from the review videos because you know, them with, with them both combined, that's just gonna take too much time. You know what I'm saying? If I want to sit through a whole 20 30 minute video. With some shoes. I mean, I know. I mean, just showing y'all sh what y'all may have to go through if y'all purchase this shoe. Laces are gonna already be undone, so you're gonna have to lace them up like halfway. They're gonna be halfway done for you, but you're gonna have to um. Actually, take this pin off. See, you want to take this pin off yourself, so that way you can get the shoe to whatever level of comfort you want it to be at. Loosen the laces up too, actually. So you're gonna have to take the pin off, so you can do that. Take the stuff out the shoe, and then slide your feet right on in. These shoes is very, very light. Like, very light. By the way, well, they're easy to lace up. Like I say, the shoes are already halfway laced up, so you're gonna have to do it the rest of the way, finish it off. You guys can see this I'm trying to do everything going on camera as fast as I can. Get y'all a nice little on foot. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm gonna tuck these in like this. You can see this is a one more loop at the top. I'm just gonna take this shoelace and I'm just gonna instead of bringing it over to the other side and 
pushing it through that loop and tying like a knot to keep it in place. I'm just going to bring it around into this loop like this. Pull that mug through and tuck it in. That way I ain't got to worry about tying my shoe and do it on the other side too. See? Did I miss on the other side? Tuck it in. Voila. So we got one shoe. That's, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's usually how I uh, lace my shoes up when it comes to all the way to the top. That last loophole there, you know, I just do this. So that way I ain't got to worry about tying my shoe. Because like I said in my other videos, I don't really don't tie my shoes. This side, this side I did tie for those that, you know, do lace them all the way up. I didn't lace it all the way up to the, to the last hole. But I did, you know, lace them up far as I want it to be. I'm gonna put the name of the shoe in the um, title for those that may be wondering what's the name of the shoe. play ball in these shout out to those that um skateboard you know what i'm saying these may be the ones right here nice traction on it nice grip i mean you can't really tell with the on carpet but i think these things are nice these boys are nice yeah now for those that may want to rock these shoes with the pin on let's throw the pins on real quick before i end this video yeah, I'll put this pin on. Make sure you don't prick yourself. I would say put the pin in through the laces first. Then take the backing part of the pin right here. That would be a lot easier. Then you could just close it in. Adjust it to however you want it. Voila. And you got that gold pin in there while y'all walking around in the shoes. Just hopefully these bugs don't come, these boys don't come off. You know what I'm saying? Because then you're going to lose it. Because you ain't going to hear it when it fall off. You know what I'm saying? So just keep that in mind. If you, you guys going to purchase these shoes and you want to rock it with the pin, just remember uh, if you lose these pins, you're not going to um, hear them fall off. You know what I'm saying? So be mindful of that. And I would recommend also wearing some like some socks that go past the ankles so that way the um, sock liner don't be rubbing up against your this, your skin because then it may irritate your skin you know what I'm saying and it may leave a red mark or um, some ashiness or you know saying something because you know that friction and rubbing up against your skin as you walk in and stuff like that because this boy this, this shoe does ride on your what is this your Achilles does ride on it when you stand up straight. For those that, you know, rock these shoes, you know what I'm talking about. When you stand up straight, you can really feel it on your, on the back of your leg here. Definitely feel it. So I just, just want to point out certain things there that y'all may know, may not know. But other than that, these shoes are light, they're comfortable. Now I ain't wear these shoes for eight hours or nothing like that, but right now, First time throwing these boys on, they comfortable. Yeah. I'm gonna get on out of here, guys. Catch y'all on the next vid. Like I said, I'm gonna put the name of the shoe in the description. All right, guys. Peace. Oh, wait. By the way, 
These boys did come with some, uh... I thought these boys came with some extra shoelaces. That's my, my fault. My bad, guys. I'm gonna get on out of here, right? Peace. Be safe, guys.